<laughs> What's wrong, Jeff, man? Kyle, John, Charlie, step on your foot again? Nah, well, that's not what's wrong. Come on, man, don't cry. It can't be all that bad. You can tell me. Come on. I lost my marbles. <laughs> you lost your marbles years ago, dude. No. I mean my collectible 90s marbles. <laughs> you collected marbles? Yes, I collected marbles in the 90s, didn't you? No, no, I'm not a dork. <laughs> Let's talk about marbles. Spectra Toys in the 90s had a great plan. We'll take toys that were a big hit in the 1930s and put pop culture characters on them in the 90s. Kids are going to eat them up, right? Well, the company made marbles, little glass marbles, and was, without, without looking like a real marble, these had pictures inside. Yeah, of all different kind of characters and sports heroes of the 90s. The company would go on to even make yo-yos. In fact, such a hit that Toy Biz would buy the company in 1995. Now, I said it was a hit. I don't know if it was a hit or not, but I had some of these marbles, and I figured we'd talk about them because... Hey, I'm making two videos a day, one at noon, one at eight. Sometimes we gotta scrape the bottom of the barrel. Sometimes we gotta flip the barrel over and just see what's stuck to the bottom of it. So let's look at freaking marbles. And we're gonna start right here with wrestling marbles. Whoa, yes. Have you ever wanted to play with Hulk Hogan's marbles? Well, now you can. It's got him right there. See, Hulk Hogan. Who else is on this? Oh, I think I see Macho King. I think I see the Macho King. The, the writing's a little small, so sorry I can't see them all, but I see the Million Dollar Man. Did you ever have a Million Dollar Man marble? I bet you didn't. I bet you didn't. Mm -mm -mm. Is that a marble in your pocket, or are you just happy to see Jake the Snake? I'm just happy to see Jake the Snake. Well, let's look at another one here, right here. Oh, Rad Rollers, what they call the marble, seem to, to... That was your grandparents... Hell, that's what your great-grandparents were playing with. Now you're playing with Rad Rollers. And here's a Batman collection. Yeah, Batman maybe had the Joker in it. I can't really see with this picture right here. Maybe the Penguin. Maybe even a Catwoman. I've never seen a Catman. I've seen a Batman and a Batgirl and a Batwoman. And I've seen a Catwoman, but I ain't never seen a cat girl or a Catman. What's up with that? Diversity. Diversity. Come on. But here's Batman, released in 1992. Batman's really starting to take off. I mean, you had the movies, you had the anime series starting up. Batman was cool again. How about right here? I know it's a small picture, but it's the new kids on the bop. New kids on the block. So you don't care about the picture being big or not. But there you go. You got the Wahlberg marble. That's hard to say. A Wahlberg marble. You got Donnie marble. I think one name's Joey. I'm sure there's always a Joey. Uh, I don't know the other one's names. It don't matter. You never see them again. You might see Donnie Wahlberg cooking a hamburger. The other ones... Y'all never see. Y'all know what happened to them. They're hanging out with Menudo. That's all you know. So let's move on to this one. Dick Tracy. Warren Beatty. Or is it Warren Beatty? He was really trying to make this Dick Tracy thing. He was trying to make a hit. He had an action figure line, which I believe was Playmates. And you had marbles. That's what every kid in the 90s wanted to play with. A character from the 1930s in marble form. Ugh. Dick Tracy marbles. I don't know. Maybe it had a flathead marble in it. I'm not sure. Maybe it had Madonna in it. You can pick it up and say, look, look I'm looking at Madonna. Oh, material marble. Oh, touch like a marble for the very first time. Oh, how cheesy can I get? How about Mighty Morphin Power Rangers? You could collect them all. These were called action marbles. See, they try trying to make them bounce fancy and everything. He's got the little logos. I think this is the back of the package. I didn't realize that when I pulled the picture. I guess the front of them's got the Marvel characters on them. I hope it has that pink Marvel. I don't know nothing about Power Rangers. I just remember there was a pink Marvel. Marvel. Pink Power Ranger. Remember the pink Power Ranger? Oh, I wonder if it's pink under the suit. I don't know, but I like me some pink Power Ranger. Let's move on to this one right here. How about some more rad rollers? Do the Bart Man. Yo, dude. It's Marvel Mania. Yeah, that's right. Bart Simpson. Yeah, might have some Homer. Might have some Lisa. You don't know. Might even have Chief, uh, Wiggum. Chief Wiggum. Is that his name? Chief Wiggum. Has anybody watched Simpsons in the last 20 years? Here we go. Marbles. And man, I don't, it's hard to believe now, but how this character upset parents. You'd be like, hey, that little boy said eat my shorts. And they'd be all upset about it. Then hit Batman Mania came. He was singing songs about Batman. Batamania. Uh, 
kids, kids, parents were upset at some Bart Man, that's for sure. Look at this right here. Sports ones. Here we go, some baseball stars. Look at that. That's a that's right there. You call that a pitcher. I know that about baseball. But you got some different teams right there. And I think they made a lot of these where you could collect them all. Maybe you can get your favorite one. Maybe you're like, I want a Daryl Strawberry marble. I know he lost his marble, but that's okay. I found it. And who else? You might you may get a Chipper Jones marble. I, you can get all kinds of marbles. In fact, they did this one right here. This is an outfitter. I think the Fix it, a catcher marble. No, he's catching a baseball. They should have done one that looked like a baseball. I don't know why they, that seems perfect. But there's some more right there who, he might have some Javier Lopez. I don't know who you have, but you got some right there. And here's one more. He's got a catcher. Whoa, yeah, he's catching some marbles now. And I see, uh, who do I see? Uh, I see a Fred, Fred McMurray. I didn't even know he played baseball. Got a Fred McMurray ball right there. Oh, marble, who? There you go, Fred McMurray. Now, let's look at some more marbles here. How about this one right here? Rad Rollers is back with Mickey Mouse. I never put the word Rad and Mickey Mouse together. I don't know who came up with that one. I can't see the marbles again, but it says it's from Mickey's collection. Action Marvels. It might have some Donald Duck might be mixed in there. Maybe some Goofy. Maybe some Pluto. You never really know. Rad Rollers. How much was that? I can't see. I thought I said nine nine nine. There's no way these things cost ten dollars. But look at this one right here, Cowabunga, dude! It's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's right, collector series. Look at these. you can collect them all. Red Rollers. It's probably got all your favorite Ninja Turtles. I don't know. Uh, I can't think of any of the turtles' name. D'Andrio, I think was one of his name. Lario, they all had O at the end of it, so I'm not really sure. Leonardo, I think that was one of them. Ratto, I mean, there's a little rat running around. They called him Ratto. But there we go. Some marbles from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now, this company made just more than marbles. They made yo-yos. And they wanted to be hip and cool with a yo-yo. I mean, this was a 1930 toy they were trying to hip up. Couldn't call it yo-yos, so they just called it yo's. Yo, that was hip. Well, that was hip in the 80s when Nick was on Family Ties. would say, yo, when he came to see Mallory and the Keaton family. But they thought it was still cool to say yo, so they released yo-yos called yo's. And we got this one right here. Pee Wee Herman. Pee Wee Herman's in the house. Right there, there's a Pee Wee. That was kind of cool. If you collect yo-yos, I think you would have to have this one. This would be a must on your yo-yo collecting list. How about this one? Donald Duck. Move over, Mickey. You might be on marbles, but Donald Duck is on a yo-yo. Now you can spin him around. And he can, woo, he's having fun. He's got a yo-yo. You can make him walk the dog. That's the only yo-yo trick I know. I don't know how to do it or anything. I just know the name of it. And how about this one? Yeah, the real Ghostbusters. Had a, that ain't no ghost. That ain't no fake ghost. Just the real Ghostbusters. Who are you going to call? The Yo-Yo Master. I don't know who... Do you know any Yo-Yo Master? It like, seems like every field, there's always like one big star that, that, uh, in a sports field. I guess yo is not a sport, but I don't know any famous Yo-Yo people. There was some on that show. Uh, that's incredible. I think I saw some on there, maybe real people, but I don't know any famous people that play Yo-Yo. At least they're not famous for playing with the Yo-Yo. Has anybody played with a Yo-Yo in the last 30 years? I'm sure they still make them. I'm sure Duncan is still going around with his Yo-Yo. How about this one right here? Fast food. That's right. They made a yo-yo that looks like a dang cheeseburger. It's the 90s. It was a wacky time. There we go. Yo's. The radical yo-yo. Radical. Collect them all. Yo-yo. Do tricks and stunts. You're not going to be You're not gonna be able to walk the dog. You ain't going to be able to do no tricks. Trust me. You think you're on your back, you're not going to be able to. Going to get the cord all tangled up. Probably have to cut it. It'll get real short. No. How about this one? That damn Dick Tracy. God, that, that, stop trying to make Dick. Nobody cared about that dang Dick Tracy crap. It looked awful. I didn't see it. I'm sure my buddy Rose would see it was good. But no, Dick Tracy, get out of here with that crap. Nobody wants to play with your... No one wants to play with your 1930 toy with a 1930s character on it. Dick Tracy is... That's, it's one of the things that's just too old. You can't bring it back. You just can't. It's just it's out there. It's it's up its time period. You gotta move on from Dick Tracy. How about this one right here? Yo yo, gummy damn it, a gummy damn it yo yo. Oh, I hope it was a pokey yo yo. I wouldn't mind getting me a pokey yo yo. But there he is. You know, I've never. I know who Gumby is, and I know Sarah Live character and everything. But I never. I don't think I know anybody ever watched Gumby. 
Y'all knew the character was, all the shirts and everything. You like, you like, I like that guy. But I don't know about like, oh, I got to get home. Gumby's coming on. I don't think that's ever, I don't think anybody's ever said that until today, right now in this video. How about Freddy Krueger? That's a weird looking Freddy Krueger, but there he is, playing with his yo-yo. Collect them all. This is the only one I could find, at least when they went to this movie. I mean, I didn't see, like, the dad from the movie or anything on it, but maybe there were more. Nightmare on M Street, Freddy Krueger. A lot of people love Freddy. I never really got into Freddy Krueger, but a lot of people did. How about a mask yo-yo? Whoa. I'm the mask. Look at him. He's all silly, being all crazy with his green face, and he's the mask. And I don't know what more I can say about damn yo-yos. I've talked about I don't know what to say. How about one that looks like a golf ball? I'll at least give them this one. This is look, see, they should have done it with the baseball or marbles, but they didn't. I give them. This one's kind of creative. I like this one here. It looks like a golf ball. That's kind of funny right there. And how about a Star Wars pack? You got a Frisbee. You got a yo-yo. And you got a kite. As far as I know, they didn't make marbles. I couldn't find anything Star Wars marbles. I wish they would have bought them for sure. But here we go. Star Trek. I had that kite. I did have that kite. I bought it real cheap just because I thought it was a cool little picture on it. I didn't fly it. I've never flown a kite. I don't know how to fly a kite. Buy them and I was, they'll never do nothing. But there it is. Maybe you fly kite, kites a lot. I could never get them off the ground. And how about he could get just a yo-yo by itself. I saw Vader, but here's one I was going to pull up. Dar, not Dar, but Stormtrooper. Stormtrooper. Oh, look at them X-Wings fleeing the scene. It's a 3D. You, you, you. It's a 3D you yo yo. I can't remember why I was saying yoo hoo. I wish it was a damn 3D yoo hoo. I drink it right now. How about this one right here? Yep, the next generation got into you you yo yos. Yes, they did. Here's Data saying you gonna yo yo me. Data saying you don't mess with my yo yo, but I mess with his yo yo. And here's Deep Space Nine. Yeah, Quark. I think that's his name. I need to go back and watch these things. I love Next Generation. I've watched like two seasons. I can't. I know, but it's good. I'll get back into it. But there we go. Deep Space Nine. And we didn't talk about Star Trek Marvels. We didn't talk about Star Trek Marvels. So here we go. Deep Space Nine. Star Trek Marvels. Star Trek Marvels. Star Trek Marvels. And here's what I had. The Next Generation. I had these. I bought these. I did. And I used to I used to like to put them in my mouth. I don't know what that says about me, but yes, I put LeVar Burton's marble in my mouth. Have you ever done that? Have you ever put a Patrick Stewart marble in your mouth? I bet you hadn't. I always wanted to bust one open. I remember I tried to hit one with a hammer, but it would go flying down the road. I never saw it again. But I always wanted to see what was inside of it. It was just a piece of paper or glass on top of it. I don't know why I was so fascinated with these marbles. How much was it? $2.49. That's why I ain't got no money today for buying crap like this in the 90s. And I remember these marbles. I couldn't lose them. I couldn't lose these marbles. It seemed like whenever I moved or did anything, one of these marbles would turn up in a box. Until the day where I tried to find one, I couldn't find one. But it seemed like throughout my years, I would be moving or doing a box, looking through a box. And they always find one of these marbles. There's only four of them. Are, I don't know. It's kind of like that little tiki god thing. And, and uh, Brady Bunch that gives everybody a bad voodoo, you know. They go, you sleep in a spider shows up. You go surfing. You fall off your surfboard. And I don't These things always turn up. I don't, I don't know about that. But that's a look at a company that made not only pop culture yo-yos, but pop culture marbles. Why do you describe this channel? I'm talking about now marbles and yo-yos. Hey, jump <laughs> man channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs>